We are now going to create our first autonomous model where the robot will move forward and back. We start by dragging two motor blocks from the VEX library. Next, we need to assign channels to these two motor blocks on however you have built your robot. You may want to rename your motor blocks, the left motor and the right motor. Since the motors will be moving in opposite directions, we need to use a gain block from the math operations library with a value of negative one to reverse the direction of that motor. Next, we will drag a state flow chart block from the utilities library. The state flow chart is what we will use to define several states or actions for our autonomous program. First, we grab a state block from the palette. We can make duplicate copies of that state block by right-clicking on the first state block and then dragging. If we hit the space bar, it zooms in. And then by left-clicking on the right edge of each state, we can grab a transition line, which will transition us from the four individual states. We begin with our default transition, where we define our first variable. The variable, which we will call speed, needs to be surrounded by curly brackets, and the statement needs to end in a semicolon. Our first state, we will call drive forward. This is just the name of the state. What's important is what happens in the state, and we will use the word during and a colon afterwards, which means while we are in the state drive forward, the variable speed1 will have a value of 100. Note again, the assignment of the variable has a semicolon after it, and during has a colon. Next, we define the transition. For the transition, we will transition from the state drive forward to the state halt after two seconds. Note again, after the word after, we need parentheses, and a two comma sec. Again, for the state halt, we have the word during with a colon after it, and we now define the variable speed will now have a value of zero because the robot is not moving. After we had defined all our states, we use the keystroke control D to define all our variables, and we can see that the variable speed one is an output variable. Now we will go up one level to the Simulink diagram and draw signal lines from our state flow chart to our motor blocks. Next, we can rename our state flow chart and change the background color. Finally, if we deploy our model to our robot, we can see our robot moving forward and 